The Tampa Bay Rays heading into play on Wednesday tied for first in the American League East with the New York Yankees. Alongside Baseball Tonight analyst Mark Mulder, I'm Jim Basquin. It's a little surprising. I kind of thought this team might not be, it might be at the bottom of the division, but their staff, their pitchers from top to bottom are getting it done overall. When you watch, when you watch Archer and Odorizzi and in the back end guys, 17 saves this season, do you see this sustaining throughout the whole season? Wow. Uh, no, I don't. I, I just think now Smiley's get probably out for the year. I, I think that's that's a big hit for this rotation because yeah. yeah. Odorizzi, Archer, uh, Carnes, I mean, it, they're going to have to eat a lot of innings. And then when you start talking about the bullpen, when those starters quit going that deep into the game, the, the bullpen gets worn out. Mm -hmm. And yes, the bullpen at Boxberger at the end of the rotation, uh, Boxberg had, has been outstanding. 11 saves. You know, yeah. uh, McGee is, Jake McGee is now back. That's going to help. But the bottom line is, man, you, you just can't wear out these guys that much. And if you're starting rotation, if you now have to fill that four and five spot yeah. and start flip-flopping with minor league guys trying to get fresh arms up, they're not going to give you seven, eight innings. That's true. That's going to be five inning games, which the bullpen's going to have to eat a lot more. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point because you look at Archer, 247 ERA, Odorizzi, 236. Even Nathan Carnes has been yep. pitched well, uh, 377. But yet they're still they, – they have – Slots. You look at the, you look at the team. A lot of guys have had like two or three starts. It, it seems as though right now things have gone their way. A, a yeah. lot of things have happened the right way. Yes, they've had to deal with some injuries and they're battling through it. But you can only make up for that so long. How about this, Mark? Though I look at the standings heading into play on Wednesday, tied with the Yankees, the Red Sox two and a half off the pace, Baltimore three, Toronto four and a half. Is there any team that stands out in that division where you say this is the team that's going to take off in June or July? No, no, no. none. All of the teams in the, in the East have faults, mm -hmm. have issues, and I, I feel like that's what's stopping all of these teams from separating themselves. Sure. It's, we're six weeks in. Trust us, seven weeks. There's still a long way to go, but the point is I think mid-June, you start to see some teams kind of get an identity and figure out who they are, what they're good at, what they're not yep. good at, yep. and that's when they start to separate themselves just a little bit. For now, the Rays are hanging with the big boys in the division, and they can thank their pitching for where they are. Keep up with the Tampa Bay Rays by keeping it locked on the Major League Baseball page right here on ESPN.com. For Mark Mulder, I'm Jim Baskell.